Hi loves, it's your girl Naya, known as Modest Guru, and today I will be showing you all how to do a quick 10 minute makeup routine for your everyday look. This is one of my go-to makeup routines, so stay tuned. Step number one, always start with your SPF every single morning. If you want to save time as soon as you get up and do your morning skincare routine, you want to go ahead and make sure that you include your skincare moisturizer and your SPF. This way, as soon as you get up, your skin is like renewed, refreshed, ready for the day. Okay. And so that typically saves you time when you start to do your makeup. It's already having your skincare done. Um, no lie, honestly, you want your moisturizer and your skincare to sit and just kind of absorb into your skin, which will make for a better makeup application. I know I typically have my brows already done, so I kind of showed you the steps that I take, which is I will outline my brows with my pencil. Currently, I am using the Ulta Beauty. This is their soft brow pencil. This is in the shade medium. I will outline my brows first, and the next product that I use, let me show you, Benefits Brow Powder. Create some hair strokes. And really, to save yourself time, you can just fill it, fill in your brows. Like, lucky for you, if you have brow hairs, this could be a step that takes like two minutes. But when I don't have time because most of us have to get to work or we have families and meetings. So we just kind of want the most convenient way and steps to do this. Like I say, don't focus too much on being perfect. Just get your brows filled in. Just take any concealer and clean your brows. I'm gonna create the fake hairs. Just all the spaces that you feel need a bit of a brow tint. The fake brow hairs is a game changer. And my brows, they don't have to be perfect all the time. Like, especially if I have to quickly do my makeup. Like, I just want them to be present and be on and everything else will kind of like blend and mesh together from there because I'm not really doing a heavy makeup look for my day to day 10 minute makeup look. I'm usually, I usually have somewhere to be, meetings, so I have to quickly pull myself together in the mornings. This product here, oh, that's all I need to my day literally pushes those hairs up why because it pushes the hairs up so i can really blend out the product even if i ever have too much product i really enjoy just kind of freezing my brows with this and giving it more of like a laminated look step number three is going to be your face product I always say go with like a skin tint, a um, foundation stick, something that's very easy to use and just quickly put onto your face when you don't have a lot of time. Fenty Beauty Ease Drop Blur Stick. Love this stick. It's so easy to take with you on the go. Like if you have to do your makeup in a car, the airport, you have somewhere to be, honey. This is going to be the foundation for you. Cause it's so, you see how smooth it just quickly blends in and goes onto my skin. See how light that goes onto the skin. It's very much a sheer coverage. And I'm using my MAC. This is the 170 brush. And this is Fenty Beauty Hydrating Long Wear Concealer. This is in the shade 235W. Matching my foundation and my concealer. I'm in the shade 12 in the Ease Drop Stick um, Skin Tint Foundation. And then I'm in the shade 235W if you are similar to my shade range. So I'm just going to take it on the inner corner and then the outer corner. 
And same on this side. Moving into uh, my contouring, I want to keep it very more so flesh tone to my skin just because this is a very natural everyday makeup look. And I don't really always have a lot of time to contour and like really carve out my bone structure. Um, so one of my favorites, which I have to get some more, so do not judge the look of this tube. But this is the e.l.f. Glow Beauty Wand Contour. And this is in the shade Light Medium. So we're just gonna staple that on. Just buffing this out for a very soft and natural finish. For the lids, a great little pro tip is you can either use your contour um, to add a little color to your lids, or you can do what I do, which is I put a little bit of concealer on my um, lids so that I can add a quick eyeshadow, like one color eyeshadow to my lids. So I just find whatever on the go little palette that I may have. And I like to love this like Fashion Nova palette here, this very neutral. So you just blend this all over the lid. Makes you look like you put in a lot of effort when really, no, I'm just, trying to give some color to my skin and my life and like wake myself up. <laughs> to set, I'm going in with the Huda Beauty Bake and Snatch setting powder. This is in the shade Pound Cake. Love, love this setting powder. Kind of wakes up the under eyes. Definitely on your, add this to your Sephora list. You just press it in and go. Great for traveling as well, or whenever you just want to touch up your concealer. So you're really quick. I like to set any areas, like my T-zone area, where I will typically get oily. I'm going in with the Fenty Beauty Cream Bronzer, and this is in the shade Macchiato. Love like a bronzy look for work. This is the Rare Beauty, just for a little bit of blush, I'm gonna use the Rare Beauty. This is in Nearly Rose. This use my blush brush, which is a brush that I've had for ages from Juvia's Place. I love their brushes whenever I can get my hands on one. And see, that just adds some color. Rare Beauty blushes is so pigmented, so. If you're looking for some good quality like cream blushes, they're definitely the way to go. And it don't move your foundation. Kind of like to add blush everywhere. See, I'm moving kind of quick because this is really the uh, true speed that I go whenever I'm doing my makeup early in the morning. And I just kind of want you to see and get a grips of like the reality of doing your, your makeup in 10 minutes compared to just like very slow steps like you can quickly just put this makeup on and not really have to think too much about the process now i will set before i do my mascara because mascara is like one of the final steps i'm going to end with the mario Banduska. this is the facial spray has ole herbs and rose water i'm obsessed with the fenty beauty mascara Oh, in love with this. This is hella thick. I think there's only one shade, which is the black. Yeah, I just love how full this mascara makes my lashes look, even though I have very fair and light lashes. Oh, it really gives me that confidence to just wear my lashes naturally. Majority of the time, compared to like some of the other mascaras that I use where I have to add on like a ton of layers. I feel like this step is important. It just like adding a little touch at the bottom. So as an extra little touch, I like to use a lip oil. So today I'm using the Fat Lip Oil by NYX. So I'm using this just to add color and pigment to my lips. And that is all for my 10 minute makeup look. 
What do you guys think? Tell me what you think. Do you like it? I am a glass wearing girly, so show you all what it looks like with my glasses on. This is it. So yeah, this is my everyday makeup look. Like I say, I wear glasses, so I really prefer something that's super lightweight, easy. I want my makeup to feel like it's barely on, but when I get on camera, I want to present myself very well. And like I say, this is makes for quick and easy, even when I'm running errands. I just want convenience, right? Most of us do. Um, and this is how everything turned out. I will make sure that I link the products below or on the screen, either or. But I want to thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Hopefully you took away some great steps and I will outline the steps as well in the description box so that you can follow step by step. But thank you so much for watching today's video and until next time, stay tuned.